lot of people for just one second when it takes them for to go flying by you they'll see it and it'll put a smile on their face and 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 for one brief minute they won't be as alley as they they were <laughs> and it, it helps break the monotony up and it makes them smile and puts them in a better mood so when they're driving around you they they have a different attitude andy yep. freeman richland center wisconsin i've been in heavy specialized for 23 years i ordered that's a that's a ghg 14 2014 Freightliner SD122. I ordered that truck in 2013. We got it in 2014. Um, it's not derated. It's 100% GHG. It's still GHG. The trailer is a 21. I ordered, a, I special ordered the trailer, a Trail King. We kind of spent five months specking it out, uh, try, trying to get everything just right for it. Uh, it's got very little camber in it. It don't haul a lot of weight. I didn't build it to haul a lot of weight. I have built it to haul tall and wide. Mostly airport to airport. Although I still do a lot of vehicles, not so much military vehicles, but more show semi trucks. I do a lot of semi trucks and show trucks or NASA. I've done NASA stuff too. Yeah. It's a DD 16, 600 horse. I cut it back to 1850. The drivetrain is set up for 2250. But by reducing the torque out of the motor, it takes the stress off of the bearings. It takes the stress off the drivetrain. It takes the stress off of everything. Even though the bearings are set up and the whole drivetrain is set up to do heavy or heavy torque, by reducing it, it'll lower my risk of a maintenance or a failure on the road. 13-speed manual. I chose and I went through um, a manufacturer in Indiana that does... Uh, conversions they convert semi trucks over to toter trucks toter trucks are the guys who haul mobile homes down the road they're generally they can be anywhere from 14 to 18 foot wide and when you start looking at what heavy haul does we're either a week well we could be all the way up to 18 foot wide or wider yeah. the the toter mirror system that i put on the truck allows me to put the mirrors out without any painful trying to modify something or make something work so I can get a mirror out there so I can see behind me. Yeah, sure. A lot of states, almost all of states, require me to have something back there so I could see. Yeah. Camera systems are starting to come in where they're letting us do more cameras, but ultimately it's a mirror that's down the side of it. And with the electric mirrors, I'm able to adjust the mirrors in and out so I can get them out there where I can see down the side of the trailer. And I can, even though I have a pilot car or escorts behind me, Having the mirrors is always best because then I always have that ability to see.